as I was growing up, um, I started doing wrong things. I started sniffing petrol, sniffing glue, trying to fit in, you know. Being a Muslim and pretending that you wanted to make your parents happy. And uh, I wasn't happy, I didn't like it because I wanted to be something else. So I got so drunk that I almost lost my life. My friend he was a Christian, so he told me, Bongani, I know a person who can change your life. So he took me to church. My senior pastor, he used to normally speak about African enterprise. He used to normally speak about the Fox Fires. One day, a good friend of mine, you know, he said, hey, Bongani, why don't you try out Fox Fires and it's gonna be a good thing for you. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna help you to grow more. So I was like, okay, let me join this Fox Fire thing. I've always wanted to give back, but not having much to give and not being able to help people around me, I think the only thing I could give was the love, the character of Christ. And Foxfires came to our church a few years ago and I loved what they were doing. Foxfire program is a group of young people uh, who come from different provinces and uh, who come from different churches. They come to one place and then we get trained. They equip us with Bible teachings and so that we can be able to go out there to schools and make disciples of all nations as the Bible says. They show us how to lead people, how to counsel people, how to motivate young people, how to grab young people's attention and how to make this Christianity faith exciting. We spread the gospel creatively in dancing, drama, testimony and poetry. Also we go to schools, teach life skills that help young people deal with daily challenges. Telling young people that it's not the end. It's creatively taking God to young people and they relate better to young people because I think every single Foxfire member has a story to tell. And for us to say that we've gone through all those things, we've dealt with emotional problems, teenage problems, but in God, it's so much better because you have a friend. And just Foxfire is taking it out there to tell young people, you don't have to be alone. Christ is there. When we go out there and minister to young people, the young people must also see that this is a good news. This is something that I really need into my life. We're not here to judge. We're not here to preach to young people, say, come to Christ, leave the drugs, leave everything else. They were there to say, we understand. They were there to say that God is love and God is a God of second chances and you can do this. I got saved. I changed my attitude, the way I do things. My mother got saved too. My sister got saved and you know, only my father now. And I believe that God's gonna really soften his heart and it's gonna make him come to know Christ. We've met kids that come from abuse, that just know neglect, and we come in there and show them that they're important. We come in there and show them a new side to life and they appreciate it so much. And I think that's what changed me to say, it is not about the material things. Yes, God wants you to prosper, but it's about the love. I wake up in the morning, I say, hey, this is not an opportunity to go change someone else's life, you know? I'm gonna bring that hope, I'm gonna bring that faith, I'm gonna make someone else think that there's more into life. So people really get impacted because they see Foxfires as a messenger, a representative of God. We wanna say thank you to all our donors, thank you to all the people who are praying for us, all the people who are trusting God to move in, in this ministry.